President Biden will visit the Carolinas today to assess damage from Hurricane Helene. And the vice presidential candidates held their one and only debate of this campaign season last night. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. President Biden will visit North and South Carolina today, and Vice President Harris will go to Georgia to view storm recovery efforts from Hurricane Helene. More than 160 people have been killed by the storm in the southeast. NPR's Nathan Rott reports that in western North Carolina's mountains, storm damage is severe. Volunteers pull waterlogged paneling off the interior of a brewery in the town of Hot Springs, while others pile ruined, mud-covered merchandise outside. For an exhausted Chris Donishad, the store's owner, says he hopes they'll be able to recover. But we had two foot of moving water through both buildings and essentially a class four rapid through town. He's lucky he has insurance for the buildings, he says. Many other businesses in town do not. Nathan Rott, NPR News, Hot Springs, North Carolina. The vice presidential candidates held their only scheduled debate last night. The cordial event between Republican J.D. Vance and Democrat Tim Walz touched on several issues, including how to protect U.S. jobs. Vance says former President Donald Trump's plan to increase tariffs on foreign goods coming into the U.S., will protect American jobs. Penalize companies and countries that are shipping jobs overseas. That's the heart of the economic proposal. And I think what President Trump is saying is that when we bring in this additional revenue with higher economic growth, we're going to be able to provide paid family leave, child care options that are viable and workable for a lot of American families. But many economists say if tariffs are boosted, companies will pass much higher prices on to consumers. Walls claims Trump is only interested in creating more wealth for affluent Americans. Donald Trump made a promise, and I'll give you this, he kept it. He took folks to Mar-a-Lago, said, you're rich as hell, I'm going to give you a tax cut. He gave the tax cuts that predominantly went to the top class. What happened there was an $8 trillion increase in the national debt, the largest ever. Tax cuts passed during the Trump administration are due to expire next year. Trump wants to extend them. Vice President Harris wants to extend the cuts for people making less than $400,000 per year. Iran's missile strike yesterday against Israel was cheered in Gaza. NPR's Kat Lonsdorf reports Palestinians there cheered in the streets while watching the missiles fly through the sky above. In this video by NPR's producer in Gaza, Anas Baba, crowds of Palestinians clap and cheer as a wave of Iranian missiles head toward Israel. More than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed in the war in Gaza, mostly by Israeli airstrikes. The only confirmed death was in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, where a 38-year-old Palestinian man was killed after a missile fell on the city of Jericho, according to civil defense. Two slight injuries were reported in Israel, according to Israeli medical officials. In neighboring Jordan, where missiles were shot down overhead, Jordanian officials reported reported two injuries from falling shrapnel. Kat Lonsdorf, NPR News, Haifa. You're listening to NPR.